Hello, my name is Adolfo Neto, and today I'm going to talk about Lean. What's Lean? Lean is a functional programming language, and the site for Lean is leanprover.github.io. Let me show you the site, Lean Theorem Prover. You see, here it's written Theorem Prover by Microsoft Research, but when you click here on About, it says Lean is a functional programming language that makes it easy to write correct and maintainable code. You can also use Lean as an interactive theorem prover. So let's go to the documentation. They teach you how to install it. I have already installed it, installed it and I'm using Lean 4. Here is the Lean manual. And see, here I have uh, a folder called Lean and in order to install Lean uh, here there is this setting up Lean you can use the Elan software where you can it's it's kind of ASDF for Lean it's very easy to install Lean using Elam and but okay let's go back what's Lean? Lean is a functional programming language blah 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 everything that Lean has but this is a video for beginners so let me start so as I said I have already installed Lean and also what have I done here I have installed the Lean 4 extension for Visual Studio Code so, okay, I have five files that I want to show here. Let me increase the font size because it's too small. And here you see, uh, this is the, the simplest program I have found. It's def main, so I'm defining a function called main it has no argument so its arid is zero and the output of this function is of type io unit why because it can be it can produce side effects by using io print l print l n let me open the terminal here if I do this, link 01 hello, hello world dot link, it just prints hello world in the screen. You see, I, here I have an eval. If I, this is a, a line comment, two dashes, a line comment. If I, I do that, it shows nothing, unless when I run link, I do link the name of the file minus minus run and then reload world shows again see I have two options either I put evolve here as main is a zero array function no it needs no argument so it can if I don't put min dash dash run it oh no, I have to save the file again. And here you can see that I could use evolve for other things like that. See, they, it showed, it appeared here, hello world and four. Pretty easy, right? So the second example, it's our hello world. How do I? hide the terminal I never know how control shift no can okay. yes okay so the second example it's actually the same thing I, I I just wrote here that to run it I have to to do the minus minus run let me go to the terminal again link 
the name of the file is still reload run okay same thing the third example it's uh it's not that complex but i wrote as complex reload hello world it's this one needs a, a, a font a little bit smaller but i hope you can understand let me increase it a bit and try to yes so here you have uh, a function called greeting so in lean you don't have to put a function inside a module this is different from elixir and erlang for for instance a named function this is a named function get greeting def defines a function here is the argument the name of the argument is name and the type of the argument is a string and here is the it says so the return value for this function it's going to be I believe this is a kind of operation for a string concatenation because here it says hello name isn't link great and you see name it's the parameter it's going to be here and yes defines a function that takes a name and produces a greeting the main function this this comes directly from link site okay the main function is the entry point of our program. Its type is a IO unit because it can be perform IO operations, side effects. I have already told you that. And here again is a main function, def main, IO unit, zero rarity. Here you can see that lin has lists like Elixir and Erlang. And again, it uses, so here it's a let so in in elixir this would be something like oh sorry something like that but in link you write let names semicolon i don't know yes is it a semicolon equals and a list where each element is separated from another by commas and here you map each name to a greeting so you are applying this is funny right because the map function you put names dot map get greeting so the list dot the function map and we we all know everyone that is a little bit familiar with functional programming a map function applies a function to each element of a collection so the result of this names.map greeting is going to be a list containing get greeting apply it to sebastian get greeting apply it to leo get greeting apply it to daniel so this is going to be the contents of greetings and for this is a, a for that it's a, actually a it's not exactly an iteration, but uh, a list comprehension, which print which prints the list of greetings for each greeting in greetings. It's just IO print ln. So let's go back to the terminal. I don't know how to open the. Ah, yes, I, I know. Lin zero three. This is going to show nothing because I need to put run here. Okay, so these are the three greetings that were created by applying map to each of the names. Each of the na each name. Hello Sebastian, isn't Lin great? Hello Leo, isn't Lin great? Hello Daniel, isn't Lin great? So let's go now to example four. I don't have to do that and let me try yes it's it hides the, the terminal just a moment okay and 
here you see we don't have a module here but a namespace called basic functions and here this example also comes from the link link page uh, they use evolve sometimes and here it show, it's just going to print 2 plus 2 which is 4 here it's again defining a function a simple function here you can see that there is no type for x why because let's read here you use def to define a function this one accepts a natural number and returns a natural number parentheses are optional for function arguments except for when you use an explicit type annotation link can offer often often infer the type of the function's arguments so you see it's obvious here that this is from type net and that the return how do i add the return for a function i forgot here let's see another example yeah all our previous examples had no return type let's let me see if this work works um, I, I didn't need a, a new terminal uh, lin 04 basic functions yes it works And let me close this here. So you see, why didn't I have to do that? Because Lin knows that if you are multiplying a number by another number. But yes, let me try something. What what would happen if I put a, a non-natural number here? Uh, yes. Failed to synthesize it. Yes. So it supposes it's a natural number. I, I still don't know how to to do non-natural numbers in Link. So let's stay here for the time being. So this function receives a natural number, returns a natural number and natural numbers in lin they have unlimited size so they don't have limits like in some languages and so you apply here you just apply the function and the the result is put in def the variable type yeah, that's different right because in, in the other program there was a let now there is a def what's the difference i still don't know but apply the function name the function result return result using def the variable type is inferred from the function return type so i i still have to study the difference between let and i believe let where did let appear here yes maybe let can be used only inside a def and here we have a def that's outside any other def and evolve you see result is used what would happen if i put let here let me try this yes uh, an error so i cannot i have to use def here and let's see it works and so here we have evolve and print print l n you see you we didn't need an io here why Maybe because it's 
outside because it maybe because it's not the same thing or because it's outside no here uh see it didn't work here it put result one so let's keep how it is so print our n and how do you say an exclamation point bank it just does it does the concatenation here and another function now the type is explicit the result of applying that function I believe this is this is funny because oh sorry I what I want is this look at the different the, the result two three four now it's 98 it's because first if I don't put the parentheses it applies to seven and then gets the result and sums to four but you see these are rather random functions two times x times x minus x plus three and again print ln the result and then a function with conditions def sample function tree the input is x it is of type int if x is bigger than 100 then this is the result else then this is the result the result of applying sample function sample function three to two is you see you we didn't have to use a variable we could they they just put sample function three two and this is the end of basic functions uh, the namespace i have another file here which is called first class functions dot lin but i'm not going to go there right now because i have lots of other things to do but i hope you have liked this and if you want to learn more about lin go to their site learn about it and that's it see you later bye bye